This is the extraordinary story of Saint Brother Andre, a simple man who could hardly read or write, a man in poor health, but a man with a great vision for his patron saint, Saint Joseph, the father of Jesus Christ. From his office across the street, he visualized the mightiest church on earth for his patron saint. And during his lifetime, he saw it mostly completed. He is an example of someone who can achieve great thing to prayer, focus, and visualizations. This is the door where Brother Andre for more than 40 years attended the sick from all around Canada, the United States, and abroad. This is an exact replica of the office of Brother Andre, where for more than 40 years, he received pilgrims from all around the world, and where he performed thousands of healings. We see him looking through the window as if he's contemplating, visualizing, building an enormous church for his patron saint, Saint Joseph. This is the first chapel that was built by Saint Brother Andre on top of the mountain, Mount Royal. It is also a lesson that whatever goal you want to reach in life, you start, sometimes you start small, but you start. From this chapel, Brother Andre helped hear thousands of pilgrims. And from this chapel, he built forward to the building of one of the greatest church on earth. I am standing in the chapel that was first built on the Mount Royal by Saint Brother Andre. Here, the saint prayed on his knees for hours on end and sometime days on end. As you will notice on the altar, Joseph has baby Jesus in his arm. As the Catholic believe that Jesus is the Son of God, God made sure to give Jesus an exemplary father that could be an example of fatherhood for thousands of years to come. So we are above the little church first built by Brother Andre. And this was his private room above the church. Very simple, a stove, a table, and a place to lay down. An interesting feature of this little room is that Brother Andre had a little window built in his room so that he could look inside the church. I am now in the oldest shrine in Canada that is lit by 10,000 candles to the glory of Saint Joseph and Brother Andre. 
this shrine is visited by more than a million people every year. People from all races and all religions. There is nine altar dedicated to different aspect of Saint Joseph. Pilgrim come here and light a candle to the aspect of Saint Joseph that they are seeking help from. We will visit briefly each and every one of those altar. This altar is to Saint Joseph the hope of people who are sick. This altar is for Joseph, the patron of people who are dying. To Saint Joseph, the protector of the church. To Saint Joseph, that gives consolation to those afflicted. Bye. To Saint Joseph, the terror of the demons. Saint Joseph, the protector of the virgins. Saint Joseph, the model of workers. Saint Joseph, sustainer of the families. In Christian theology, there is the Father, the Holy Ghost, and the Son, Jesus Christ. When Jesus came on planet Earth 2,000 years ago, he was given an exemplary father, Saint Joseph, who took great care of him. The last time we heard about Saint Joseph in the, in the Bible is at the time where Jesus was 12 year old and came to the temple to talk to the sages. Pilgrim come here and light candle as a prayer that will stay behind when they leave this church. Thousands of people have been healed and inspired by the work of Brother Andre and worship of Saint Joseph. This shrine also contains thousands of crutches and canes that have been put here by people who have been healed by Brother Andre and Saint Joseph over the years. All the healings that were done by Brother Andre were done with the help of the holy oil of Saint Joseph. Oil that constantly burn in front of the image of Saint Joseph. Brother Andre also used metal with the image of Saint Joseph that he would simply pass upon the patient's body or injury. In his days, doctors were sometimes making fun of his simple ways, but thousands upon thousands of people have experienced miraculous healing sometime within a matter of hours. When Brother Andre passed away in 1937, the church put several priests to satisfy the inquiry of the pilgrims, but the pilgrims came directly to the tomb of Brother Andre to get their demands 
get blessings from the saint. I'm standing in front of the actual heart of Saint Brother Andre. When he passed away in 1937, everyone realized that his life has been such a saintly life that the bishop of the time decided to remove the heart of Brother Andre to keep it as a reminder of his saintliness. Brother Andre personally, when alive, organized this ritual where pilgrims go up on their knees step by step to the door of the oratory to ask for a favor. There's a personal story attached to this for I was born with partial cerebral palsy. When I came out, the priest was there to tell my mother that I would be paralyzed for the rest of my life and to give her son to God. My grandmother, Jolicoeur, the mother of my father, came here in 1950 and on her knees prayed all the way to the door of the oratory for my healing. About a month later, I was out of the hospital as normal as a three months old baby could be.